It is the diet that can work when nothing else will. It's certainly a blow to the cult of popular low-carb diets, and there have been many. Ketogenic, or keto, is the big one lately. Among the proven health benefits of this diet are weight loss, mental focus, increased energy, controlled blood sugar, but a large observational study followed people for 25 years and found cutting all those carbohydrates can actually reduce your life expectancy by up to four years because most people replace carbs with protein and fat from animals. So often we get excited, oh, I've removed a bag of chips from my diet or I've removed a soft drink from my diet. And this study, I think, did a great job of really reminding people that it's not just what you remove, but it's what you replace it with that matters. On the upside, the study found people could live longer if they replaced some carbs with protein and fat from plants instead, eating more vegetables, nuts and legumes, including beans, chickpeas and lentils. It's a good example of a nutrition study that's not coming out and saying, oh, we've been wrong for 20 years. It's, it's suggesting that the current policies are in line. In other words, if half your calories come from carbohydrates, it's fine. Everything in moderation. Sounds simple, but it really isn't. Doctors say too often the struggle to lose weight is fed by social stigma and bias, not health. Fad diets offer thin hope, not lasting change. What we tell patients here is that I'd rather they make small changes that they build upon rather than big flying leaps of change, but that whatever changes they make, they're going to need to keep them up. And if they're going to have to keep them up, they better like them. His best advice, cook your own food, drink less, and exercise more. It's cheap, just not easy. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.